Well, growing your garden can take time and money. Those are two things the Casey Fall Plant Exchange can help to stop because it is free and offers full grown plants. Our Rachel Rip shares how you can get a green thumb tomorrow. Come one, come all to Casey's Fall Plant Exchange. It's one of the mayor's favorites and locals love it too. We're planting the same type of vegetables or flowers at the same time. So that that's fun to kind of see people that you see on social media and actually get to meet them. And then this is a, a inexpensive way to try new plants. You don't have to bring a plant. It is not only for Casey residents, it's for anyone who wants to come. It's, it's a lot of fun. People will bring full grown plants, bulbs, seeds, clippings, anything you can imagine. Usually you'll walk away with five to six plants and they've had up to 75 people showing up. There's only one event in the fall and one in the spring. Some people only show up on Fridays to leave their plants to a new gardener Saturday morning. We do have our regulars. So we have some people that drop, by, drop 50 plants off, um, 20 plants off, and they never come to the event because they have so many plants and they know that's how they can get rid of them. One row at a time, people get to run to the table to pick up their new green friend. Reporting in KC, Rachel Rip, News 19 WLTX. Well, if you want to participate, make sure you arrive early at around 9.30 in the morning. Plant picking starts at 10 on the dot, and the event will last until 11 at City Hall. Exchanges like the one in Casey are a popular way for people to share their love of gardening. Coming up later this month, the Columbia Garden Club will hold its own fall plant exchange. Now, it will be Saturday, October 29th in the parking lot of Talbots in Forest Acres. Of course, we have our own Gandhi's Garden here at the station, and meteorologist Daniel Bonds is the current caretaker of that garden, originally planted by our Jim Gandhi back in 2014. Now, we also have an online community of gardeners on Facebook. You can share pictures of your garden and get helpful advice, as well as share your gardening tips with that community. If you'd like to join, just, uh, just give us an ask. We'll certainly add you to that group.